previously on Trekking Along. Good morning. We have a birthday girl amongst us this morning. Sarah is turning 15. <laughs> so she used her cuteness once again and got us a hitch. And she helped a couple other hikers last night catch a hitch too. So. Yes. So something about being redhead and a teenage girl. People will stop for you. So. <laughs> yeah, she helped a guy get a hitch yesterday too. We just stick her out in front and people pull over and we're like, okay, we're taking away the 14 year old, but <laughs> you can have this other people. <laughs> so we have about 16 and a half miles we're hoping to get done today. And we are gonna start off the day with a climb up Bromley Mountain. The yes, it's chilly again, but we were able to FaceTime with dad last night and our winter gear is being sent our way and just came across an empty cooler and a very large pile of, oh no, it's, it's not empty, it's just that not everybody is eligible. Um, <laughs> so, all right, we're going to... Are we hiking or are we going to read the cooler? Well, there are people we know. <laughs> the cooler has apparently become a trail log, and so people are signing it. <laughs> but we're hiking. It's going to be a good day. It's nice and sunny as I trip down the trail. That's awesome. Yes. Okay, let's talk about where we camped last night real quick. No. It was in It was free. So it was awesome, but it did come with a few drawbacks. <laughs> it was in town under streetlights, so it never got completely dark. Next to a gas station that was probably open all night, or at least it felt like it. And then this morning, thankfully the alarm went off at 530, because right after the alarm went off, whoa, that's a sketchy feeling bridge we're on. Uh, yeah, no. I knew it. There was a stealth spot we could have hiked out last night. Oh well. Okay, so anyways, at 5.30 this morning, their alarm goes off, and very shortly after, wouldn't you know it, today's trash day. So the dumpster in the parking lot, right next to where we were got camping, got picked up and dumped. And then, shortly after that, the landscaping guys for the um, shopping center next across the street showed up and had three different... What are those things? Blowers, leaf blowers, all set at a different speed because it was three different tones. But man, they were blowing for at least 30 minutes this morning, it felt like. So we were able to pack up and be as loud as we wanted to because we were being drowned out by the leaf blowers. Everyone else is basically awake. Yeah, everyone else had to be awake by then anyways. So, all right, hiking on very little sleep. With a birthday girl amongst us, it'll be a good day. We've made it to the top of Bromley Mountain. It's a little windy and chilly up here today. It's a sunny day, so it is a great view up here today. That's awesome. And that's where we just came up. No, we're from the south when this is the first ski lift we've ever seen in person. <laughs> we just stopped for a break about five and a half miles in and it was so humid last night that everything was drenched in condensation. Inside of the tent was dripping, outside of the tent was dripping. So we have sun and a slight breeze so we're giving everything a chance to dry real quick. Take some weight off our backs. We're looking for a lunch spot. Oh, you're filming? I am. I'm trying to figure out what flat spot she was pointing to, though. One. It's so obvious. One in a 
shade where we'll be bitterly cold and we shiver and eat. Yes, the girls are comical today. I don't know what the temperature currently is outside, but they're putting their base, their mid-weight layers on. They take them off. They put them on. They take them off. It's the wind. The wind is chilly today, apparently. But we have to um, get used to it for the white so it's Squishy, squishy, squashy. We found a spot for lunch, and we are all done eating. And we are getting ready to hike because we are really cold just sitting here. Um, but yes, thankfully we have a downhill for a while, I think. So I'm which keeping, cold. which means cold, but we're keeping our stuff on, I think. Midlayer mom's going to take off her jacket though. Mom's well, maybe she's not. She can't decide. <laughs> but it's cold when the wind blows. And I don't really remember it being this cold when we started. Oh my gosh, it was 57 degrees today. It's 57. That's cold. That was like the temperature last night. Yeah, apparently it's like warming up today. It was supposed to be 73. That was in town. We're on a mountain. That's true. I was colder today. I was warmer when I woke up than I am now. Yeah, this it's just been cold. But we're gonna hike and warm up. We made it to Griffith Lake and it is a beautiful day to be by the lake. Humidity is low, temperatures are great. It's beautiful. Climbing up towards Baxter Peak. And this is beautiful. We are in the mountains again. Doing a little bit of rock scrambling on the way up to the top. We are about to arrive at camp and there is a dead bat on this rock. We think, well we think it's dead, we don't, we're not going over short, but kind of cool. Are they usually that small? Yeah. Two. Sure. <laughs> So the AT goes to the left, but the campsites go to the right. It looks like there's other people here. We have been wondering where number two pencil was the last couple of days while we've been out here hiking, yeah. and we Here he found is. him. Yes. We're very excited. So I've been, so. I've been chasing y'all. I've been sending what do you call it? Trail mail. <laughs> trail mail. <laughs> exactly. So we're excited. We heard he was coming, so we were like, let's go to the campsite to buy the side of the trail so we can hunt him down when he comes. So we were very excited to see you. Good idea. Sounds like we'll be hanging around the next couple of days yeah, too. And yes, he gave Thumper a kind bar for her birthday, yeah, which chocolate. was very sweet. I think that is the only gift she's had today on her it's birthday. So it is. It really is. We got nothing today. Exactly. Exactly. What did you give her? I gave him that one house. That was like two gifts yesterday. That was yesterday. That was only because you didn't want to carry it. That's true. It's because you didn't want to carry it, so that's not a gift. I'm about to get picked up. You think I wanted to carry the kind bar? Yep. Yeah, well, nice great. It was great to see you. See down the Absolutely. Good morning. That's what your head looks like. Okay. Um, it was cold again last night. I don't really know what the temperature. I'm 46, right? 46. 
And then right now it's like 47. Yeah. Yeah, that's Anyways, yeah, it warmed up a bunch. But the sun is out. It's not on us yet, but that will warm things up. Today we're doing, I think, 15 miles. 15. 17. 17. Sorry. And then last night we stayed at Big Branch. The river it had some campsites. It was actually really nice. And yeah, the white noise was really nice. So yeah, it's cold. We're warming up. Rebecca's still in her puffy, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and a mid layer. I shed my puffy because I was really hot. And then mom's not even wearing a jacket, so and our hands are cold. <laughs> but well, we'll eventually warm up. I believe we're at Little Rock Pond this morning. The wind is coming off of there, making it kind of chilly. But it sure is pretty. Someone's dog. We made it to the rock garden. I think this is the first of two of them. They're so cool. Oh, there's bigger ones on the other side. We can build one. We have found the real rock garden. This is the one we were anticipating earlier with all the cairns. They are everywhere. Cool. Yep. Bumper feels like adding for contribution. That one fell right there. Yep. Yeah. Sarah, you want to explain why you're laughing? Y'all are mad. What? Y'all are mad. We're mad. <laughs> we just stopped for lunch. Just started hiking. Just started getting warmed up because we had to put our puffies back in our bag. And what does Thumper do? She stops she's, the tire too. Like, Wait a minute. I didn't tie my shoe tight enough, so we all have to stop, cool off, stand here and watch her tie her shoe. The the little little and she thinks hysterical that shoes. we're all getting cold. <laughs> Listen to her laugh. We need to keep marching. To get out of there. Both of them are not just one shot. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting cold. Faster, faster, faster. Be ten you're in a race. But don't time too tight. And she's gonna go slow. <laughs> Wait a minute, we're no, gonna catch this eyelet five times. 
Good gracious. But how are these new shoes working out for you? Oh, that's Good. beside the point. <laughs> 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 All right, now we can hike. No, I need a drink. No, you don't. I really do. Actually. Wait, what's the next water? Because mm. I'm running more. Well. Two more miles. To get there. You have to hike faster if we want to get there. So I'm not don't run. drink it all in one gulp. Started so good. We are at airport overlook. Okay, this was questionable. The girls were making it shake way too much, so I waited. But this is the Clorindon Gorge. Very cool. And now we're going to climb up the mountain. <laughs> I'm getting better at these. <laughs> Another useless gate. Good morning. His hair is being blinded by the sun. We spent the night at Clarendon Shelter last night, slept right next to the stream. It was nice white noise, but it was chilly again, down to like 46 or 47. So we cannot wait to get our winter gear back in Hanover. But this morning, we are getting ready to climb Killington. Killington. I'm like, what is this? Starts with a K. So a big climb. Um, it's a 4,000 footer. We haven't had one of these in a while. So here we go. I did just flip it. <laughs> we have 500 miles to Katahdin. Hello, so we just stopped to have lunch. Um, we stopped at the shelter like one and a half miles down the trail before starting our climb up Killington. Um, we only made like a mile and a half up before we decided to stop for lunch because we saw this really nice campsite um, to eat at. And we are now like 2.4 miles from, yeah, I think 2.4 miles from the top of Killington. So making progress. <laughs> but. We're all just chilling because we're laying down and everyone else is chilling. But I'm going to start climbing here in a minute. We got cold just sitting here, so i got to take everything off. I'm going to start bold. So we made it to the Governor Clement shelter on Mount Kellington, but that's not the peak. There's a two-tenths of a mile side trail that is to the peak. And it is straight up mm, this would look straighter. So. <laughs> I'm being careful.
we've been hiking down Killington and what did we just come across? 1700 miles. There it is. Way to go. Good morning. We spent the night last night, I think, at Governor Scott Shelter or something like that. Um, or William Scott Shelter. We are hiking the two miles down to, I don't know, some road that takes us into Rutland today. Today we're going to resupply, hopefully get showers and laundry done, and then hike out another 10 miles for the day. So, we'll see how this plan goes. Resupply days always seem to take us longer than I think they're going to. So, we'll see how the plan gets adjusted. But, it's a beautiful day this morning. It was a little bit warmer last night. So, we all slept good. And, I guess the girls all still have their mid-weight mid layers on. But, they're all starting off the day a lot warmer. Let's put it that way. So, it's going to be a great day. We're outside of Price Chopper doing the whole resupply thing and looking like hiker trash again. There's a lot of food. This is a three-day supply, resupply, plus an extra dinner, basically. That's what we've got going on here. Does anyone need any of these bottles? Any four breakfasts? You need three breakfasts, four dinners, three lunches. Thundering Falls. Good morning. Anybody remember the name of the shelter we stayed at last night? Stony Brook, that's right. So we're not far from Stony Brook Shelter where we slept great. And shout out to the Green Mountain Club for all the brand new privies they have put in in Vermont. Vermont wins the prize for best privies, I believe. Um, but we have this wonderful ladder we had to climb down this morning. Oh, I climbed down it already. And for safety measures, there's a nice rock placed at the bottom of it in case you fall. <laughs> so have at, girls. <laughs> Yeah, no trekking poles. Ooh, okay, now there's impalement dangers as well. I guess they decided we shouldn't leap off there. Yay! Thank you, Chapstick, for not throwing your trekking poles on top of your sister. Just awesome. Good chuck. I'm gonna try to get mine all in my head. Oh, it's gonna like Could have been a javelin throw. Nothing with that open. Yes, you do. A javelin? Oh. Yay! Daughter number two is down. Will the youngest survive? One remaining. No, and towards us. Ooh, yeah, okay. Let's not kill our sisters. You don't have the... You had the wrong poles for that. Yeah, she has no points <laughs> left on hers. Oh, and we're getting checking poles hopefully in Hanover. Yes. Hopefully Hanover will deliver and we'll have new trekking poles waiting for us there. Because most of ours have nothing but scraped up rubber on the bottom it's of them. It's basically just and objects in our hands that we hold. Thumper has nothing left on the ends of her trekking poles now, especially when compared to everyone else. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 
but at the yeah. shelter we stayed at, someone had to hire me to show up. That's my shelter? Mm-hmm. I think I was like, someone said me showed up when he died and it like wandered away. But then when he was, when he was he slept in his shelter, it said it came back once they went to bed and it ate, um. You've come across an obstacle. Oh, that was too easy for you. I head on to that tree right there. <laughs> You're not going over it. I know I'm not going over it. Just grab on and then you just like, mm, yep, yeah, there you go. That was actually way. You're actually better getting good at this, Mom. Gonna, that went better than I thought it was going. <laughs> You're getting to. good. <laughs> So mom called, I don't know if you can see it. Oh gosh, that frog, a little chipmunk, toad. that toad is a massive toad. I'm gonna get closer. It's electric? Don't touch it with your pet trekking pole. Or anything else. You'll feel it, especially since we're all wet. That's scary. Well, it's so young, and there's that thing. And there's the red thing here. The warning electric is not very it's near way. where everybody puts their stuff, so. Okay, we survived the electric fence. They really were. I was watching the yeah, it, was, it wasn't as high over there. I was like, great. Yep, they want us to go up the highest point of this mountain. And the cow patties are everywhere. The cow patties back there. One at a time. No cows allowed. Suicide ski area. That's nice. It looks like we've come across some of the lines that they use for tapping the maple or the sap that they turn into maple syrup here in Vermont. Pretty cool. I know, and maple syrup is abundant in their grocery stores. Good morning. 
Didn't say that when we were looking at the um, sugaring taps, but we stealthed last night by a creek or a brook stream, I think is what Far Out officially called it. We thought we were going to have rain last night, but it did not. But as you can tell by the weather today, I don't think we're going to escape it. It's like a 70% to 90% chance of rain for most of the day, starting pretty soon. So we're just trying to get some miles in while we're remotely dry. It's 80% humidity, so we're already damp. But it's not actively raining yet. Hoping to go about 14 and a half miles to a shelter tonight. And then do about five miles into Hanover tomorrow and get our winter gear, which we're excited about. It's been chilly. So, hiking along today. I'm surprised we put a ladder. We have a ladder this morning. Huh? Or stairs, however you want to look at this. When they're this steep, I'm not sure if it's considered a ladder or stairs. Just finished a climb and we're being rewarded with a slight view, so it's pretty. We also were able to um, get internet and the rain chances today have gone down tremendously, so excited about that. It's definitely going to rain tonight, but I'm okay with that. It's just not going to rain today. We are pulling out of Happy Hill Shelter this morning, and it is raining. It started raining last night. It's going to rain for a while. Still a little bit chilly, so some of us have decided to wear the sauna suit. We'll see how long we wear that for. But it's only six miles into town, and then we have a hotel room with showers and laundry. Cannot wait. It's been over a week since showers. We did laundry in Manchester Center, but it's been too long. So we're gonna get clean, stop by the post office, pick up all kinds of stuff we've had shipped there, including new trekking poles and winter gear. So we're about to start sleeping a lot warmer. So great day for hiking. Someone start talking. Mm. Hmm? The red eft in the wild. I can't talk because I don't have a good British accent anymore. It's brighter in person. That doesn't make it look very bright. It's, oh, there you go. But no, it just doesn't do it justice. <laughs> On our way into Norwich, and the girls have discovered the joy of gliding their trekking poles along some patch in the ground. There's no grip left in our trekking poles, so it's easy. They're easily entertained at this point. This is the sidewalk where normal people walk, and this is the hiker path. All right, let's go into New Hampshire. Just picked up packages at the post office. All of that is ours. Just a few things that needed to be replaced now that we're in Hanover. So fun times, we got to figure out how to carry it all. Next time on Trekking Along.